and welcome to another booktube video from me Lauren from Lauren and the Books. How are you all? Are you ready to get autumnal? I've got my only jumper. Look how good this jumper is. It's got a big rainbow stripe down. This is the only jumper I've got in the house because all of our um, autumn and winter clothes are in storage more on that later. Today is a very autumnal video. I'm going to be talking about my autumn bucket list which I have here. Um, this bucket list I got the template from um, A Beautiful Mess which is a blog um, which I'm very very fond of. Um, it is, uh, I will link the website down below. If you sign up to the newsletter you get a free download of this but there are plenty of these around and you could definitely definitely make your own. I just really like the set out of this um, and I've coloured in the words autumn. I do find this odd though actually because this is it's an American website and they've used the word autumn and I believe, correct me if I'm wrong, that um, American people normally say fall. So uh, confusing but I mean works for me. Um, on this list I have, uh, there is space for 30 things that you want to do in the season of autumn. I've added another one because I remembered a very very important one afterwards um, and I'm going to talk you through um, these here um, and then maybe I'm thinking of doing a sort of vlog like video uh, if it will work of um, me completing these or, um, or or doing these uh, these things or at least I'll be I'll be following this um, closely on my Instagram so let us go through them I will um, go through uh, the 31 items that I have here on this list I'm very very excited so the first one is watch Hocus Pocus Hocus Pocus is a very autumnal film it actually reminds me a little bit of Christmas as well I remember watching it on a Christmas Eve um, when I used to live with my friend Neve she was Irish and she used to go home um, every year for Christmas and I just remember being in the flat on my own watching um, Hocus Pocus thinking oh this feels a bit Christmassy but I'm going to be watching it in autumn because I just feel it's very autumnal isn't it um, the next one is go to a pumpkin patch which I've never done before um, quite often uh, it, I, I feel like this is um, something that definitely took place um, like in the in the US but it's becoming a thing over here now where you can go um, to pumpkin patches and buy your own pumpkin to take home and carve or eat or anything like that um, and they just look beautiful there's just like fields of these um, gorgeous orange and uh, orange pumpkins and all different size squashes and uh, pumpkins and things. And I've wanted to do it for, for years and this year will be the year that I do it. Uh, the next one is one that David has added. It is cook and eat a nice stew. He wants it to cool down a bit before this happens. But then we will be cooking and eating a nice stew. I did suggest a pumpkin stew. He said, no, that sounds disgusting. The next one is set up autumn windowsill display. So I've recently bought some autumnal um, decorations and I want to put them on a sort of windowsill display. Play. although I am sort of maybe thinking I might put them behind me I'm not sure um, I've got two toadstools one that looks like this and one that looks a bit rounder like this um, and I've also got these were such a bargain so those two were 3 99 they were from Lidl um, in the UK I haven't seen I think they sold out really quickly though I haven't seen them since um, and then the other ones I've got this little tray of um, of pine cones so this is like a, so we've got pine cones here and they've got like a little hole that they're flat at the bottom, but you could lay them on their sides as well. These guys, not quite sure what those guys are. They look pine coney. Um, and then some acorns as well. Um, so I want to use those and my um, autumn candles, uh, my pumpkin candles, and maybe some fairy lights and stuff, and maybe some leaves from outside, and maybe some real nature um, to make a sort of autumnal window display or some sort of autumnal display. Not sure what yet, but I want to do something with those. Uh, the next one is read a thriller. Um, I was listening to the um, to the Reading Women podcast today, and they were talking about how they like to read thrillers in the autumn. And I was thinking that would be a nice thing to do. So read a thriller, um, cook with pumpkin. As I mentioned earlier, I did say to David maybe I could make a pumpkin stew. He was not up for that. Um, I might make a pumpkin pie. I've made a pumpkin pie a few things a few times. It was very very nice. Um, next one is pack away summer clothes and get out winter clothes. As I previously mentioned, my uh, we we have a storage unit where um because we, we we're in a flat that doesn't have much storage we keep our um our winter stuff in the storage unit uh, when it's summer and our summer stuff in the storage unit when it's winter so at some point in the autumn season I will be wanting to swap those over and it's always a really fun thing to do um this was it, it happened for the first time when we swapped over our, our summer stuff uh, we got our summer stuff out and you, you often you, like you forget because you have these clothes haven't been in your wardrobe you forget what clothes you've got so it's almost like you've been shopping for free you've just got all these lovely new clothes all of a sudden that have been in storage for for all, all um for a few months so I'm looking forward to that uh, next one is visit an orchard there's quite a few orchards around this area so um, hopefully I'll be doing that as well um, make a pumpkin spiced hot drink so I had um, a, a bonfire toffee uh, no a bonfire 
oh, it was something. It was a, it was a, an autumn, a, like a bonfire toffee or something, spiced drink at the weekend from a Costa Coffee, and I was thinking I could bloody recreate this at home. So I'm going to look at making one, uh, making one of those at home. So that would be nice. Um, Autumn Cozy Reading Night, that will be taking place at some point in autumn, not quite sure when, probably when the clocks have gone back, so probably um, towards the end of or October, beginning of November. I also want to read a gothic book, maybe that might be a book that I read on um, Autumn Cozy Reading Night. I want to wear some cozy socks. I love cozy socks, and I want to wear them, and I've Try, I put some on the other day, it's probably a little bit too hot still for cosy socks, but I enjoyed very much wearing them, so that was nice. Um, make chilli uh, to have with jacket potatoes, this is a very, very nice autumnal thing that is not, uh, that I like to enjoy, uh, particularly around fireworks night, which is coming up. Next thing is go to a fireworks display, I might combine the two of those. Um, then I want to make soup, David hates soup, but I'm hoping maybe I could, oh, he says he hates soup, but whenever I make it, he always has a nice time. Uh, I could make a pumpkin soup, maybe I'll do that, maybe combine the two. Um, there's one of my favorite soup recipes ever is from a Jamie Oliver book, and it is a roasted squash and apple soup with, uh, with smoky pumpkin seed on top. Oh, it's lovely, mm. That might be the one I make, that's very, very nice. I just want to bake an apple pie. I don't think I've ever baked an apple pie in my life, guys, so I think that'll be a new thing to do. I want to decorate a pumpkin. I want to have a board games night, which I just think would be a really nice, cosy thing to do. Um, I want to collect some pine cones, potentially for my um, autumnal uh, window display. I want to do a puzzle. I really want to do a puzzle. I might have a little look um, in a minute to see what um, puzzles are available online. I really, really want to do a puzzle. Um, I want to cosy up near a fire. So both of our parents have um, fires. My uh, my parents have got a wood burning stove, and my and uh, David's parents have got an open fire. So at some point we will be snuggling down near those fires. I want to wear plaid. Now plaid isn't something that I hear said much in the UK, but it's basically like checkered shirts and things like that. So I will be wearing one of those at some point because they just scream autumn. Um, I want to go out for breakfast, that's something I like doing all year round, um, but I'm definitely making sure that it is happening at some point in autumn. Um, I want to take some autumnal photos, I want to get some photos of some places that I live and what they look like um, in the autumn, um, particularly with leaves and it just looking gorgeous. I live next door to a little park area um, and I feel like that will be really pretty with some, um, with some nice, um, nice brown and orange and golden leaves and things like that, that would be lovely. I want a blankets and a film tonight. Um, I love to watch a film. Uh, David and I um, got into the habit when we were in our old place, and we haven't got into that habit yet since we've been here, of um, putting our, our phones in another room and just sitting down and watching a film for a whole, like, just the whole way through without looking at our phones or looking on, on, on on the laptop or anything like that and I'd like to do that um, get back into the habit of doing that um, and also incorporating blankets into that um, I want to either have or go to an autumnal dinner party um, which I think will be very nice maybe theme the, uh, the the courses around autumn or have some autumn decorations on the table or wear autumnal colours or just something like that I haven't fully thought that one through yet but that's something that I want to do I want to wear dark nail varnish I've got a really nice and I must dig it out from somewhere like a brown like brown burgundy nail varnish that I really reminds me of autumn and I want to wear that I want to change to my winter duvets we have two duvets we have a summer duvet which is a thin guy and then we have a winter duvet which is a much much bigger plumper guy um, and at some point I will be changing to that winter duvet um, and then go on a nature walk as well and that was the last thing that I'd added and my friend Emma and I have a nature walk plan we're going to um, walk around and do a tree walk um, in November which will be lovely I'm very very looking for much looking forward to that so those were the 30 items and then just as I was fishing out this jumper to pop on to film this video um, I remembered something that's happening in the autumn that I'm really excited about and that's the new Doctor Who is coming out so the new Doctor Who's coming out I think it's the 8th of October it's going to be on on a Sunday night which I just think is perfect viewing time like it's going to be watching the Strictly Results show and then watching um, Doctor Who and I am pumped for that and that starts at some point in October I think it's the 8th of October um, and I've seen the trailer for that and I'm just so excited so yeah those that is my autumn bucket list the things that I want to do in autumn so um, I would say that this starts from now it's September I know autumn hasn't officially started but in my head September equals autumn and I'm going to run these up until basically until maybe the end of November and I'm hoping I might have a little Christmas bucket list by that point as well so yeah this is the first time I've ever done um, anything like this and I'm really 
really, really looking forward to um, doing it. Let me know what you've got planned for autumn, if you've got anything, if you've got a bucket list, if there's things that you do every year, would love to hear that. There is still room for me to add things to this list. So if any of your ideas are fantastic and wonderful, I will definitely be adding those to this list. And thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you all again soon for another booktube video. Goodbye!